Hi everybody, I'm here to do a review or an unboxing of the Purple Mattress Protector. Not the mattress itself, the mattress protector. Uh, we ordered this from Amazon and it came just a couple days ago. So let's unbox it and see what's inside. I know you can't judge a book by its cover, you can't judge a product by its box, but if you could, this one would win the award because super sturdy, super nice cardboard box. Um, it's got a little flap here that opens that's magnetized. Hear that little click? There's magnets in there that help it open and close or stay closed. And then you pull this flap open and over here it's got some general comments, I guess you'd say, along with some nice people without face pictures. And on the front, it's got a couple samples. Uh, the competitor sample, boo, not stretchy. The purple cloth sample, ooh, stretchy, kind of like spandex. I suppose if this was in a store, you could feel it, although I haven't seen it sold in stores. Opening it up to look at the product, psych, it's empty. <laughs> we already used it one night, so now I'll show it to you on the bed. So here we are in the bedroom to take a look at the purple mattress protector itself. Um, now before we had the purple protector, we had this kind right here, which is the traditional quilted mattress protector, you know, with little squares and quilts, no stretchiness or give at all. Uh, and it has the elastic -y material on the edges just to hold it on. So only the edges stretch. And it was fine, nothing wrong with it. It did a good job, it had good reviews. Um, it was kind of quilted, um, maybe a quarter inch thick or so of additional padding. Uh, with that in mind though, I had read online that with certain types of beds, it's better to have a thin mattress protector, which seems counterintuitive. You're like, I want the padding. So this is, our mattress, at least the current mattress, which is a Sapira mattress, and it is a hybrid mattress. Don't need to get into details on this video, but it is a tight top, no quilting, in, in other words, no puffiness on top. It's just flat, none of those tufted buttons like there was on the Sattva. So with this particular type of mattress that has uh, memory foam in part, and I think this would apply even if it was a complete memory foam or something where the top layer is designed to engage you a certain way. The theory goes that the thinness is actually better because the old mattress protector, the thicker quilted one was taking away that advantage. So with that in mind, first I'm gonna lay on it in a couple different positions just to let you look at it and see what it looks, looks like, pardon me. Um, and then I'll grab the Kindle to make it get closer. I apologize, I don't know how much you can see from over there of, of sinkage and those sorts of things. This is me laying on my back, and as I lay, I can tell the mattress protector is not interfering at all with the top layer engaging me. Very stretchy. Laying on my side facing you, same thing, I can feel my hips gradually going into the top layer the appropriate amount and I can feel the mattress protector not being inhibiting of that at all. <clears throat> Same thing if you want to see my back and how that looks. Last but not least, stomach. Alright, so now just a couple real quick up close demonstrations. Watching my hand push down feel doesn't come across on the video of course but very stretchy um, the mattress protector you can see stretching with me I leave just a little bit of a pimple there but it rubs out pretty easily um, sound wise listen oh 
a little bit of sound. Unless you're someone who's extremely particular, though, I don't think you'll notice. My wife and I used it last night just for the one night so far. No problems with sound. Um, so my elbow going in and it rebounds nicely. My whole arm pushing down. You can see through it, even over here, there's those stripes that are known to the Sapira. It's part of the Lisa brand. You can see through it. Um, now, a quick demonstration of the bottom side. Obviously, we haven't tried its water resistant capabilities yet. So, ooh, this is tricky. On the bottom, it's kind of a plasticky kind of material, but you don't really notice. At least I didn't, um, even though it looks plasticky. There is just a very faint odor if you shove your face into it. I'm not sure why you would. It just smells a tiny bit plasticky. We did wash it when we first got it before use. Um, regular washing machine, just follow the instructions, used the lowest heat setting on our dryer. So just to summarize and wrap up my thoughts on the purple mattress protector, a um, couple features you want to know about. It has a 10 year warranty. I don't know what that covers, but it says it has a 10 year warranty. Um, it fits mattresses up to 13 inches deep. It's water resistant, dust mite, and a pet dander barrier and stain resistant. Um, and again, it's stretchy for comfort. That's the main thing. It's kind of spandexy or elasticy, but very thin, less than a sixteenth of an inch in thickness, I would say, which is good. Um, did it change the mattress? Like, wow, this is the best thing ever. No, not really. Um, was it noticeable? Yeah, I'd say it was. Um, I'd say it made the mattress feel maybe five to 10% better, which isn't a ton, but it's a place where I sleep every night. So that's pretty awesome. So uh, we'll try it out for several more nights. If we have anything to add, uh, I'll be sure to let you know. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you found this review to be helpful, please see the link in the description box, which you can use for ordering the purple mattress protector on Amazon. Using that link supports me in a very small way and enables me to keep making videos for my channel. Thanks a lot.